Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share some of the teas that I have on my wish list. So this is a little different from anything I've done before because I don't have anything to physically show you. Um, I have not bought any new teas recently. I'm trying to drink through some of the ones that I do have before I go out and buy more. Um, but I do have a few things that I have had my eye on that I did want to share with you guys. And if based on these you have any recommendations, then I would really like those because I'm always down to try new tea companies um, and new teas you, th you guys think that I would like. So let's get started and I'll talk about the teas that I am wanting to buy. So there are two companies right now that I have my eye on making an order with soon. The first one is Artful Tea. Uh, I did a video, which I will link up here, on their advent calendar and then throughout my vlogs for uh, Vlogmas. I also kind of talked about some of the teas in the advent calendar because that was the one I ended up using for the month of December and I really, really enjoyed it. So there were a few teas from that advent calendar that I have been wanting, but I haven't been buying a lot of tea, so I haven't made a purchase with them yet. Um, and then just kind of looking at their tea selections, there were a couple other ones that I was interested in, so I'm going to kind of share what I was but I have in my cart for Artful Tea. So the two that I tried during the month of December with the advent calendar that I really, really liked, um, the first one was the Black Current Black Tea, and I really liked this one. It was a very rich, deep black tea that I just thought was super comforting, and I definitely want to get some of that because I just had the one tea bag. Um, the other one is the Organic pear mango white tea. Um, I like I like fruity combinations of white and green teas sometimes, especially white teas. Uh, and this one was really light and just refreshing and something that was a nice change of pace from a lot of my um, like deep dark black teas <laughs> and you know grassy and roasty green teas. This one was a really nice refreshing fruity different kind of tea. So I definitely want to pick up some of that. And then I have been on a major vanilla black tea kick and they have one that's called vanilla velvet black tea. And that sounds amazing to me. I am on board already. I don't, I've not tasted this one, so I don't know what it tastes like, but I've pretty much been happy with almost every vanilla black tea I've ever had. So definitely want to try it. And then a company that I've been talking about a lot recently and has really become basically the new Batiki for me since Batiki stopped making teas, um, and that is Tea Chai Te, and they are based out of Portland, Oregon, and they have a wonderful website that I just love clicking through, and their actual physical tea store, if you're ever in, in Portland, Oregon, go in. It's so lovely, it's cozy, it's wonderful. I can't wait to go back. Uh, but a few teas that have become favorites of mine. First one is the Mount Hood Vanilla. That I have had multiple things of it and gone through it very quickly. Uh, like I said, I'm on a black tea kick, um, a vanilla black tea kick, and that is the ultimate vanilla black tea, I feel like. Um, it's so good, it's smooth, it's desserty, and it's something that I love hot or cold and can just have any time of the day, any time of the year. So I'm gonna have to pick up more of that. And then in my most recent order, I got a little bit of the Hojicha green tea. And I'm obsessed with Hojicha green tea now. I had it in Asheville at um, Dobra and I really liked theirs and I should have picked it up before I left, but I just didn't think about it. Um, but I've also been really impressed with the one that I had from Tea Cha Te. So, I definitely want to get more of that because I just had about two ounces and I went through it really quickly. When I had it, it was basically what I was drinking every day. Uh, it's a nice roasty green tea and I like the like really kind of warm roasted flavor of it. That's what really draws me to Hojicha teas. So if you have a recommendation for one, definitely tell me because I would love to find a really good quality Hojicha to bring home. Yeah, I need that. Um, and then the other one, which I have not tried, is the pear green tea. Um, I like 
I've had pear teas before, obviously artful teas, that's one of the ones that I'm interested in too. Uh, but this one, for some reason, I'm just interested to see what theirs would taste like because they do a good job with mixing flavors in with their teas and I like that they're really subtle. Like the ones I've had so far have just been knocked out of the park. So I want to try a green tea with a little bit of flavor and this is the one that really caught my eye. So next order, that one's definitely going to be in my cart. That is really it as far as the teas that I am looking at buying in the near future. Uh, if you have any recommendations for anything you think is similar to this, especially hojicha teas, uh, please let me know in the comments so that I can check them out. And if you have had any of these or plan to check them out, I would love to know that too. I always love it when you guys tell me what teas you're drinking and when you have tried teas on my recommendation, it just warms my heart because I love tea. And I love spreading the word about small tea companies, which these two are both small tea, co tea companies that I really like to support. So. Yeah, I will definitely be talking about Artful Tea again later this year with the um, advent calendar because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get theirs again. Um, but yeah, if you want to see any other tea videos, let me know what type of tea videos you'd like to see. This one was actually a um, suggestion from a viewer, so I definitely listen to you guys and try to get to these videos when I can. Uh, but I am going to go get ready for my day, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Bye!